explain conditional structure and PHP. The structure of conditions owned by PHP is almost the same as other programming languages. A condition structure that is a flow regulator of the program. A series of commands that must be written to meet several conditions, namely condition structure if, if condition, statement if condition true, closing curly bracket, information, condition is a statement or variable to be true or false checked, structure condition if, else, if condition, statement if condition true, else, statement if condition false. Closing curly bracket. Information. Condition is a statement or variable to be true or false checked. If the condition is true then the statement in the block if will be executed. Otherwise if the condition is false then the statement is on block else to be executed. Special condition structure. Condition. True. False. Information. Condition is a statement or variable to be true or false checked. Statements on true and wrong blocks may only be one statement only. Structure condition switch, case, switch dollar VAR, case 1, statement 1, break, case 2, statement 2, break, dot 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 dot, closing curly bracket, information, dollar VAR is a variable to be checked for content or value. This variable data type is not restricted. Value in case can also be a string, integer, boolean, even conditional statement. May use single quotes or double quotes. In order to better understand the following I give examples of program application of structure. Conditions in PHP. Explain conditional structure in PHP. Program 1. File name, if.php. Description, program structure if condition. Open notepad then type the following PHP code. Less than, PHP. Dollar value equals 80. If dollar value greater than equals 60. Echo, your score dollar nili, you graduated. Closing curly bracket. Greater than. Next save the code with the name if.php in the htdocs folder. To see the result open the browser then type http colon slash slash localhost slash if.php on the address bar. The result will look like the following. Program Explanation 1 In the above program, there is a condition check whether the content of the variable dollar $value more than 60 line 3 if this condition is true variable dollar value contains a value greater than 60 then the statement on line 4 will be executed conversely if the condition is false then statement on line 4 will not be executed program 2 file name if underscore else dot php description program structure condition if else Type the following PHP code into notepad. Less than PHP. Dollar value equals 50. If dollar value greater than equals 60. Echo your score dollar value you graduated. Else. Echo your score dollar value you failed. Closing curly bracket. Greater than. Save the code with the name if underscore else dot php in the htdocs folder. To see the result type http slash slash localhost slash if underscore else dot php in the address bar. Then the result will look like the following. Program Explanation 2 in the above program, there is a condition check whether the content of the variable dollar $value more than 60 line 3 if this condition is true variable dollar value contains a value greater than 60 then the statement on line 4 will be executed conversely if the condition is false then the statement on line 6 will be executed in the example of the above program the condition in line 3 is false because the contents of the variable dollar value is 50 program 3 
file name if underscore else 2.php description program check username and password with it else open notepad then type the following php code less than php dollar user equals johans dollar pass equals 123 if dollar user equals equals johans and in dollar pass equals equals 123 echo login successful else echo login failed closing curly bracket greater than save the code you input the notepad with the name if underscore else 2.php in the htdocs folder if you can see the results by opening the browser by typing in the address bar http colon slash slash localhost slash if underscore else 2.php the result will look like in the following picture program explanation 3 in the above program there is a condition check whether the contents of the dollar value variable are equal to ACMA team and whether the contents of the dollar pass variable are equal to 123 line 4 if both conditions are true then the statement on line 5 will be executed conversely if one of them is false then the statement on line 7 will be executed program 4 file name if underscore var dot php Description, program checking a variable exists or not. Type the following PHP code into notepad. Less than, PHP. Dollar user equals. If is it, dollar user. Echo, variables are missing, not yet formed. Else. Echo, variable exists. Closing curly bracket. Greater than. Save the code with the name if underscore var dot php in the htdocs folder. Then open the browser and type in the address bar http colon slash slash localhost slash if underscore var dot php. Then the result will look like the following. Program Explanation 4 in the above program, there is the function of isit which is a function to check whether a variable has been formed existed or not the function will be true if the variable exists so if the second line of the above program is remarked or omitted then the statement on line 4 will be executed program 5 file name switch.php description program structure switch case to display day names in english open notepad then type the following php code less than php dollar day equals date d switch dollar day case sun dollar day equals sunday break case mon dollar day equals monday break case two dollar day equals tuesday break case wed dollar day equals wednesday break Case two dollar day equals Thursday break. Case fry dollar day equals Friday break. Case sat dollar day equals Saturday break. Default dollar day equals doomsday. Closing curly bracket. Echo today is the day less than be greater than dollar day less than be greater than greater than. Save the code with the name switch.php in the htdocs folder. To see the results please open the browser then in the address bar you type http slash slash localhost slash switch dot php then the result will be like this program explanation 5 in the above program the dollar day variable line 2 will contain the first three three digits of the day name in english with the date function we will get date time and current information this function will be further studied in the next chapter. Next the contents of the dollar day variable will be checked with a switch line 3. If the contents are sun then dollar day are Sunday and so on. Program 6. File name if underscore kusis dot php. Description special condition condition program to check for leap years. Type the following PHP code into notepad. 
less than PHP. Dollar year equals date Y. Dollar kibisit equals dollar year percent four equals equals zero. K A B I S A T not a K A B I S A T. Echo year less than B greater than dollar year less than B greater than dollar kibisit greater than. Save by name f underscore specific dot php in the ht docs folder. Then see the results in the browser by typing in the address bar. http colon slash slash localhost slash f underscore kusis dot php. Then the result will look like the following. Program explanation 6. In the above program, the date function with the parameter y line 2 will generate 4 digits of current year. In line 3 it will be checked whether the contents of the dollar year variable if modulated with 4 will result in a value of 0. If true then dollar kibisat will contain kabisat and if false dollar kabisat will contain not kabisat. That's my article about explain conditional structure in PHP. Hopefully can increase our knowledge about PHP programming. See also article about comments in PHP code.